Hi YouTube, it's Razor Jack here with my fourth video. Uh, as I said previously in my other videos, I do have a few uh, Cold Steel products coming in uh, through the mail within the next few days. This here, I have just got it um, this morning about say 10-15 minutes ago. Um, I've taken out the bag itself. Um, this one here is the, um, is the tire machete from Cold Steel and uh, I bought it from Spartan Sports Shop okay, over in New South Wales. Okay, so this one here right, is a tie machine. I'm just going to it open now. And let you guys see. All right, so starting from here. All right, so the sheath, very normal, um, as per all cold steel sheaths. All right. Um, pretty normal, um, not the hard, hard saw type that I had in my Kershaw, but you know, it, it's good, it's lightweight, okay, it's lightweight, easy to maintain. Alright, uh, it's got an adjustable clip here, alright, for adjustable length, um, looks like it's got a little clip here as well, and um, yeah, just for any extras, um, oh, okay, um, yeah, okay, the guard does come out from the back of it, okay, the guard does come out from the back of it, and um, you know, I never had any knives or any weapons uh, in, in my in my collection that has something like this at all. Um, I am guessing this might catch. So this might catch. This might be a little bit of an issue later. Okay, but I'll mention that later. I'll give it a try. So just a standard little buckle there. I mean a, a little little knobby thing here, whatever you call it, a uh, button there. Um, pummel. Lanyard holder, okay, and uh, yeah, let's 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 have a look at it. I mean, um, the handle, sorry, the handle, not that great. Sorry about the camera bumps, um, not that great. I might just uh, flatten that edge a little bit um, so it's get a little bit more texture on it, okay, um, smoother texture on it, okay. So let's unbutton this and let's see if I'm right or not. Yep. You can't pull this out. Okay, so if you're gonna carry it on your back, if you're gonna carry this on your back uh, for a quick, fast draw, no, nah, it's not gonna come out because of that. So for people that like to draw things fast, um, just in case of emergencies, if you're camping and you see something charging at you or whatever it is, or something's blocking you straight out of the way, and you wanna do a fast draw and cut things out of the way, this is gonna stop it, okay, this sheath. Is going to stop it okay all right so we might have to do a bit of modification okay so let's look at the blade all right cool very cool okay very cool okay just a little bit of thing yeah you can scratch that off cool um yeah looks pretty cool i mean 10 to 55 um carbon steel uh, the, the thing's baked on, the black is baked on as per all uh, machetes uh, from, from, from cold steel. I mean this thing will wear off um, over time if you start cutting a lot of stuff with it. Um, oh crap. Okay, so yeah, you might have to redo this a little bit. Okay, it doesn't come out from the box nice and tidy. Um, that's what I don't like about it. Um, yeah, well, I might just have to do this myself a little. The tip, look at that tip, wow. It is sharp. It's really sharp, okay? It's really sharp. I'm, I'm not too sure if, it, uh, if this tip is gonna hold if I start chopping through uh, any hard stuff. I doubt it, okay, 1055. Yeah, well, it's still a bit soft. So, um, yeah, first impressions. Hey, this, this handle, this handle here, polypropylene handle, yeah, it's cool. It's very cool. It's, it, it's, it provides enough grip. The best thing about it now when I was, I'm feeling up here with my thumb is this little bit of a curvature. This curvature here, all right, you can see cold steel made in South Africa. Um, all right, this curvature here, you know, it's, it's nice and smooth. It's comfortable, okay? Unlike some of the ones that's right, right angle or chopped or whatever it is, it does rub onto, uh, your hand here and it does uh, cause a little bit of scarring sometimes you know as you can see probably a little bit here all right so same as here on this hand 
All right, so um, this is from holding holding swords and stuff like that for 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 a while. Okay, so hey, um, yeah, so I, I like this. I mean, I reckon um, it's got a swing quite good. And it's got a bit of a torque onto it. It's got a bit of grip. Uh, what else? Okay, so the blade thickness um, it is two point eight millimeters thick. I remembered, and uh, the blade is twenty two inch long. A total is thirty six point. Uh, I think it is uh, 36.5 inch long. Um, look, in comparison with the, uh, the my cold steel Latin machete, all right. This is my cold steel 21 inch Latin machete, and it's the double handed version. Okay, sorry about a bit of dirt here. I do chop with it sometimes. Um, all right. Um, this is something that I have, and um, and the thing is, I reckon. I mean, this is an awesome chopper. This one here is an awesome chopper. I mean, I haven't chopped much with it, but you know, because of double hand swing here, yeah, this one came uh, straight out from the box just like that. Very bad and cold steel. All right, anyway, right, because of double hands, double hand grip here, um, you know, it, it does create a bit of torque onto it, um, a bit of leverage as well, and um, yeah, it did cut really, really good. Um, but then again, the blade was a bit flimsy. Okay, it is a bit flimsy, as you can see. Um, and this one here, I believe it is thicker. I don't know how much, but um, let's have a quick compare. All right. Yep, it is definitely thicker. All right, it is definitely thicker by a tad bit. Okay, by one and a half, you can say. So this one here, I believe it would be a little bit more rigid. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. Okay. Um, as for the blade shape, um, this one here. Uh, this lab machete is a bit wider. Okay, this lab machete is a bit wider, but because being single-handedly wielded, um, this one here, I, I love the forward weight on it. A little bit of forward weight, uh, unlike the Kukri's, there's a huge amount of forward weight on those ones. But um, this one here, the forward weight does help it a little, little bit. However, this one here, although it doesn't have much of the forward weight, um, a lot of weight is sort of balanced. So, oh yeah, cool roughly about here, okay? So, um, yeah, so the lower weight is actually balanced here. So, uh, doesn't matter, as long as you've got that whole reach, all right? That reach and uh, the whole leverage from that, okay, is, um, yeah, it's good. So, so I'm guessing you can still do some decent chopping with it, okay? Let's see straight out from the box how sharp this one is. Spot, sorry. Yes. Okay. Honey. Mm. Okay. Sorry, my phone is not so good. Okay. So yeah, it does cut okay um, for the light stuff. Yeah, it does get a bit dull, but hey, um, if I'm chopping through branches and stuff like that, no, no, no good. All right, look. If I'm chopping through branches and things like that, I don't really need it to be sharp, okay? But if I'm chopping through weeds, shrubs, um, bits and pieces like that, with a good mixture of soft and hard things, yeah, I'll, I'll probably just give it as it is, you know? I'll probably just give it as it is. Probably a slight bit of sharpening if I need to cut through long grass, flexible long grass. Um, at the end of the day, I reckon I'm just gonna test it as it is. Um, and see how things go. I'll go through a few branches, shrubs, and things like that, etc. But um, yeah, look. To be honest, overall feel. Um, I love the handle. I love the um, the whole feel of it. Uh, the blade shape. Yeah, I still dig it. Um, it's good. It's good. Um, I just need a bit of polishing on that. This side looks better. Okay. Um, yeah, and I'll just see how things go from here. So, yep. So this is the Latin uh, machete. From cold steel, uh, you know, I, I think it's okay. Uh, for hundred dollars in Australia, you know, everything comes pretty expensive in Australia. For hundred dollars um, in Australia, I reckon this is a decent one. Okay, the Latin, the two-handed Latin machete actually costed me, um, I think it was sixty or so. But you know, sixty, or, sixty or something like that. But um, you know, this is when you get in Australia, everything's expensive. So here, the Latin machete. Um, 
any thoughts of uh, any thoughts from you guys please let me know if any of you guys have actually used this before to chop through things have uh, good or bad experiences let me know I mean put it in the comments and um, if I've said anything wrong in my own perspective um, please correct me or, or anything like that so I'm, I'm open up to um, all sorts of uh, thoughts and, and ideas okay so hey um, let me know all right have fun stay safe and um, yeah see you next time